the end of that first season, there was this thing I heard about called Afrotech. And I'm like, how did I not know that this conference had just, it was the first year of Afrotech. And I'm like, how did I not know that this happened? Because half the people I interviewed on the podcast were on the stage at the first Afrotech. Right. And so I said, I'm never going to miss another Afrotech. And so I went to year two and I knew I was going to have a good time. And so I vlogged every day of the conference and I vlogged all day on Thursday, went back to my hotel room, edited the video, put it on YouTube that night. And then Friday, people are walking around having seen my video from the day before. They're like, how did you put that video together so quickly? You know, because it was just yesterday. And so I'm like, right. that's what I do. And so anyway, so all day Friday, <laughs> I did the same thing. I recorded all day, edited it that night in my hotel room, put it on YouTube. And then Saturday, like, you know, how, who is this dude putting out all these videos? It's still on YouTube. If you go, you'll find these videos. Right. And so... I built this name for myself as somebody who was, you know, producing high quality content for, you know, mm. black techies. I went to 2018. I didn't do any yeah. video, but um, the caveat to not doing video, I took my wife to that, that conference. And so all these black people in San Francisco and at the end of the conference, my wife was like, you know, it's an amazing conference, beautiful, blah, 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 blah. You should not come back unless you're on stage. And I'm like, oh, mm. like how am I going to get on this stage? Like I'm a podcaster, right. you know, entrepreneur, but like the people on that stage are like far and away, like doing, doing it, you know, right. just discounting my own, you know, contribution, like we yeah. do for whatever yeah. reason. And so I'm like, all right, you know, challenge accepted. And so I put this picture of, um, a, an Afro tech speaker on my vision board so right around the time where they called up the application for speakers where you could apply to speak i get an email and there's a girl who works for blavity which owns afrotech and says hey just talk to morgan who's the ceo of blavity which owns afrotech and she's like hey we're, we're going in a new direction for afrotech and morgan said we should talk to you about running it and i'm like I just was trying to like get on nobody knew number one outside of me and my wife I'm trying to figure out how can I get on this stage and they're saying right. here are the keys to the kingdom like we want you to run it mm. and so that's how me coming to Afro to happen